Hi, yeah. So I'm gonna try and say this uh, before I get like too gushy and stuff. Now, keeping in mind that the question in the very, 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 very beginning was, "What fun thing did you do in 1996?" Well, my my fun thing carried over for many, many, many years. Um, you guys have seen if you've watched all of these, you've seen all of my concert footage, or so to speak. <laughs> So, the last one, December 2018, Stepping Westward, I was alluding to it in the last video. Um, I think you probably have read, Jason did a, a blog about it, and then I did a blog about it. <sighs> but just reading something, like, words just can't do it sometimes. You just, you just have to say it, and you just have to, like, be... So I don't even know where to begin. I really don't. I'm probably not going to be all like, step one, this, step two, this, at 10 o'clock, this, at, at 3 o'clock, that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, it was so amazing. The whole night was amazing. I got to um, lunch with my sister. Um, we went to the concert. We did not realize that the actual venue is outside because there, it, it, it's a bar. It's the Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. And so we, we were just under the impression that um, it was indoors. And so we get there and um, we go into the bar and um, they tell us, oh, the concert is outside. Well, you know, um, oh, hey, I am wearing that shirt that I told you I whipped Chris with back in 97. I still have that shirt. And I wanted to show it off because I was so excited. Like nobody keeps any any shirt, any shirt for uh, w what is that by now? Twenty two years? What is that? I can't think. No one keeps a shirt that long. But this was a concert shirt that I've been wearing all this time. Like given I don't wear it every day or anything like that. But. So I'm like, I need to take this shirt, and I need to see who recognizes it. Because if they're a true fan, they're going to know. All these concert shirts nowadays are black, and mine is white. <laughs> First of all, and it's got purple lettering. Standing Westward, Darkest Days. This was the Darkest Days tour. Perfect. I'm taking this shirt. So, we get, it, we get there, we find out it's outside. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's already cold. It's already cold, and I'm in a short sleeve t shirt. Yeah, but I'm gonna do this. Jason even bought me a hoodie. I told them that I, I, I have yet to get a stabbing westward hoodie, and I need one. So he bought me one, and I'm like, no, I can't put it on. I have to show everybody my shirt. <laughs> But everyone I came in contact with knew that shirt, and they knew it was old, and I made an impression on everyone who saw it, I think. So, mission accomplished. So, okay, then in other unorganized events, we did get to see Chris again, which, thank God, because you know what, now that I've become an author, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know what? Um, he signed like probably 20 things for me over the years and I mean I mean it's not like I have to of course you know there's nothing I, I gave him that one earring one time right and so I'm like I gotta give him something I can actually sign like I can sign my book and give it to him oh my gosh yes we're so doing this right so I got a book I, I in fact I had to order some more and I did that, and I'm like praying it, it gets here before we go out of town. And so it did, and I was so happy. And I signed it and everything. And then so, we're um he's he's manning his booth, um do um get, get, handing out merchandise. And so, and and Jason's like, oh, there's Chris, you know. And I'm like, turn, and I'm like standing there, like, duh, like. And I'm like, Joey, don't just stand there looking like an idiot. Do something. And he's like, oh, hey, how's it going? I'm like, uh, <laughs> hi. Garage, garage. Look, look
looking like an idiot over here, and I'm like, oh my god, shall we stop? And and so he's like, well, do you want a picture? I'm like, yeah, 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 I want a picture, yeah. <laughs> so we get someone to take pictures, and um, and then I'm like, oh, oh, I have somebody for you. Uh, I have something for you. Can I get? Can I give it to you? And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure, of course. And so, um, and like um, so I said. I'm like, oh, it's in my bag, you know, it's in my, in my bag, and then, so I'm like, I'm, I'm an author now, right, I'm all explaining this to him, I'm like, oh, I'm an author now, and, um, I, j I have to give you my book, I'm like so scared, right, I'm so nervous and scared, and I can't believe, I'm like, I, I have to give you my book, because I signed it just for you, and I hope you like it. And I'm talking like a, like an idiot, I'm sure, you know. But, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, calm down, calm down. And I had some Christmas tree cakes, because, you know, it's December 15th, right? And just uh, Christmas is right around the corner. And he saw that first, I think. He's like, oh, you got Christmas tree cakes. How cute. Thank you. And, and I'm like, I have a book in there. Please, please accept it. It's important to me. <laughs> I'm just like so crazy with this. So he does. And I, um, I signed it and everything. And so, well, I had signed it beforehand. And so we're doing the concert. He, you know, we get on stage. And um, it's just amazing. Everyone is singing every lyric to every stabbing Westward song. We're like united. One person. I don't know how many people there were, but it was like one gigantic like it was so amazing and you could feel the happiness and feel the the every it was so wonderful and amazing and we're all head banging and acting crazy and we're singing every and oh my god but okay before that I want to get this in before that we're all singing you know, um I'm behind these two dudes right there's one here and one here and I'm like trying to like trying to see right I'm trying to see through these two guys and so Chris he's got the mic you know he's about to start singing but he gets he lowers his head and he kind of turns it to see me and I'm like oh he saw me because it was so important that he saw me he knew I was there obviously we had talked earlier but it was so important to me that he saw me and he knew where I was sitting and he knew I was there watching them and and I was, and he, and he did like that, and I'm like, oh, he sees me, oh, thank goodness, oh, good, oh, good, oh, good, oh, good, so, okay, and then he gets on the mic, and he says, everybody, take care of Joey, I was about to die, everybody, you don't understand what that meant to me, because I'm thinking, I mean, and I'm not trying to be rude, to anybody. I'm not trying to be rude to you, Chris, or anything, anybody at all. But it did not occur to me, quite obviously, I don't know how, that he knew my name. I have no idea. I just thought, I mean, he's got 20 million fans. I'm sure he sees them all the time. Hey, Jake, how's it going? Hey, so and so, how's it going? But these are people who probably go to the concerts every every concert and they're there every show and he's like hey how's you how's your family hey so and so how are you but he said my name now i really don't know if he said it because he read my 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 what i wrote in my book i wrote a nice message to him and maybe he saw it then and, oh yeah her name was joey okay or if he knew it, and he, it just never came up. I, I, but whatever the reason, I was going to die. I was so, I could not believe he had said my name. And he said, everyone take care of Joey. <gasps> I don't know how cold it was that night. And I'm in my t-shirt, and I'm like, I'm freezing to death. But I'm having the time of my life. And then we sang all the songs to get together. It was so amazing. It's so beautiful. The phone is ringing. I'm ignoring it. Hold on. It was amazing and wonderful and beautiful. And that was the best concert of my life. It was the best concert of my life. I can't. 
And if I ever get to go to another Stabbing Westwood concert, 